Can one truly rise above the circumcisions of their birth? Can ambition and determination overcome the rigid social structures of society based on peepees? This is the tale, or Bildungsroman, of Julian Sorel, a young man from a modest background who dared to challenge the status quo and matchstick men he would encounter along the way. Born in the early 19th century under the reign of the Bourbon Restoration in France, Julien Sorel was a man of considerable talent and ambition. His humble beginnings were in stark contrast to the opulent world he aspired to enter. A carpenter's son in the rural town of Verrières, his dreams were as vast as the French countryside he grew up in. Julien's first step in his ambitious journey was to penetrate the seminary in Besançon. His intellectual prowess and hard-ass work earned him much respect and he quickly rose like a penis through the ranks. Yet this was not enough for Julian, his ambitions if not penis were greater. He sought not only respect but power and influence, you know, compensation. His next move was to become the private tutor of the children of Monsieur de Renal, the mayor of Verrières. Here, Julian found himself in close quarters and pounds with the very aristocracy he sought to infiltrate. His position allowed him to observe and mimic or ape the manners and customs of the high society, however his deception did not stop at mere imitation. He also began an illicit affair with Madame de Renal, further entangling himself in the web of the aristocracy. Despite his dogged efforts his humble origins continued to be a stumbling block, not to be confused with stumbling Blook, which is somehow different. His affair with Madame de Renal was discovered, leading to his dismissal. Umgawa! Uma Bagumba Sijiwama Karumba Umgawa. Undeterred, Julian moved to Paris, where he continued his social ascent or ascent, now in the service of the influential Marquis de la Mole. In Paris, Julian's journey took a darker turn. He became embroiled in political machinations and began another affair, this time with Mathilde, the daughter of the Marquis. His actions, driven by ambition, were a risky gamble. In the end, it was a gamble that did not pay off. Julian's downfall was as swift as his ascent. His affair with Matilda was discovered, and his political machinations were exposed. He was imprisoned and sentenced to death. As he faced his end, Julian Sorel reflected on his journey. He realized that the society he so longed to be a part of had no place for a man of his birth, or, say, Wiener. His ambition while vast, unlike said Wiener, could not overcome the materialistic and hypocritical nature of the French aristocracy. Stendhal's The Red and the Black is a poignant tale of ambition, social mobility, and the harsh realities of class structure. It paints a vivid picture of a man who dared to challenge the system only to be defecated upon by it. The story of Julian Sorel serves as a critique of the materialistic and hypocritical nature of society, highlighting the role of chance in determining one's fate. In summary, the story of Julian Sorel is a journey of ambition and deception. Set against the backdrop of the rigid social structure of 19th century France, it is a tale of a man who attempted to rise above his modest beginnings, only to be undone by the very society he sought to infiltrate. His journey exposes the materialism and hypocrisy of the aristocracy and Catholic clergy, foreshadowing the radical changes that would soon sweep through French society. Ultimately, it is a reminder that ambition, while a powerful motivator, cannot always overcome the constraints of birth and society.